Good afternoon. Leaving South Korea in about two and a half hours. Just sitting in the hotel drinking last minute afternoon tea. Also, this bingsu here looks really, really, really good. This is so extravagantly impressive. This is the Valentine's Day afternoon tea set. I don't even know what this stuff is. Yeah, peanut butter mousse wrapped around crispy little noodles. Mm. The mozzarella strawberry cheese ball with strawberry in the middle. <laughs> I never really done this afternoon tea thing before. That's pretty cool. This is a little mini plate of shrimp. With a pineapple in the middle. Oh, it's like a French toast with strawberry and cream on top. All this stuff is so beautiful. It's hard to break these little treats in half. Mmm. Strawberry white chocolate on a little cookie. That. It's a delicious strawberry mousse cake. Mmm. Mmm. That's the best one. Kind of like a strawberry mousse cake in a cup. Afternoon tea is pretty fun, especially in Asia where everything looks so cute. Nobody at this airport. Heading out of Korea and going to Chicago, then to St. Louis. The route we're taking, it's a little weird because Seoul to Abu Dhabi and from Abu Dhabi to Chicago. Abu Dhabi to Chicago is about 14 to 15 hours. This trip is going to be over 30 hours. And the reason we're doing this, well, it's really affordable. It's about half the price of a normal business class flight. And we're flying with Etihad Airlines business class. So it'll be a long trip, but save quite a bit of money. And uh, we get to check out the food together. I think this is my first time flying with this airline business class. Let me show you around. Big, nice size monitor. Blanket, really deep leg rooms. Place to hang your jacket. this oh this is how their dining table pulls out pretty little lamp this is the seat pillow little storage right here storage here as well remote control digital seat control is this grapefruit juice this is orange you want oh, the, the, the red thing is orange juice yeah i'll take that thank you <laughs> looks good thank you see here it looks like grapefruit juice but here it's like a magic trick where it just bites Ooh. Anyway, like I said, reading lights, seat controls, a lot of different light controls that I can't really use yet. Non disturb button, window shades, cushion firmness. Wow. Firmer or softer. Back and forth, mood lights. All right, let's look at the travel pack. Huh, this is a, a snood as to wear around your neck. And you can also use this to cover your face and nose. Oh, this is the COVID kit. So, masks, wipes, hand sanitizer, all really helpful. Now for the best reading material. After takeoff, warm bakery, salad, herb crusted lamb, grilled halibut, beef bulgogi, vegetable lasagna, oh yeah. Herb crust at lamb for sure. Before arrival, warm breakfast, yogurt, omelet, ginseng chicken, kanji, French toast, Hagen dazs ice cream. There's a list of waters, juices, coffees, teas. And I'm looking for the anytime menu. It usually is something about that. Let's see about the movies. A bunch of new movies, Venom, Fast 9, all things I want to see that I haven't seen. Oh, there's a lot of new movies. 
Mortal Kombat? Family. Oh, there is a lot of movies on here. It's gonna be hard to get bored on this flight. I haven't figured out the anytime menu yet. I will. Travel pack has arrived. Ooh, very nice. Cologne from Aqua di Parma. Toothpaste, toothbrush. Hand cream, eye patch, and socks. I really wish there's slippers, but no slippers on this flight. All right, about to take off. See you at dinner. Dinner is served, and this looks extraordinary. First of all, herb crusted lamb looks really good. Some kind of puree, maybe some green mashed potatoes, some vegetables, Brussels sprouts, green beans, tomatoes, some pumpkin, got some hot tea, even a salad looks pretty good. The buns, two buns, both toasty warm, a bagel and a bun. This is so beautiful. This is what caught my eye right away. Yuzu curd mousse with strawberries and a flower on top. That's probably the prettiest dessert I've ever seen on a flight. Everything looks good, it smells good. Olive oil and vinegar. Salad's good, oh wow. I'm just gonna try to cut this lamb with a fork. Mm. <laughs> That's actually freaking delicious. Oh, mushy peas. Considering this is a flight meal, the lamb is extremely tender. Mm. Pumpkin's not bad either. I mean, it's not falling apart just from the fork, but it's close. Some nice herbs, nuts on top. It's got a good chew, no gaminess. A little crushed up lentils. The texture is so nice. Mm. That's an awesome dish. Pairs very well with the salad. Bread's really nice too, especially this one. Honestly. Mushy peas, not bad either. I don't really know what makes something good mushy peas, but a little sweet, tastes pretty good to me. Now I'm sure the best part, oh yeah, this looks delicious. Mm. That dessert is amazing. This is awesome. There's some jam on the inside, it's sweet. A little citrusy, very, very creamy. Oh, this is good. Mm. Especially when you eat it with a strawberry, which brings a lot more of that nice, sweet, tart flavor to the mix. This is a great meal. Ending on the highest note ever. Mm. Pair that with some hot tea. Oh, it's just so lovely. So there's only two meals on this flight. Um, this one and right before we land. I'm sure there's gonna be some snacks in between and um, can't wait to find out what those are. Stay tuned. Look at this, breakfast is served croissant. A little turnover it looks like. Fruits, kimchi, yogurt, and kanji, chicken kanji, scallions and sesame. That was actually pretty darn good. Usually not a big fan of kanji, but it seems like every time I have, I've had kanji on a flight, it's been pretty good. I just really don't like omelets or scrambled eggs. I always prefer something a little different. Chicken is tender, the sesame gives off a nice aroma. Kimchi actually tastes really, really good. Nice crunch, good amount of heat. I am absolutely starving, by the way. We land in about an hour. I hope when we get to the airport, the lounge is actually open and hopefully they got some good food there. Yeah, that might not be the case. Gonna be landing out of Dhabi probably at 4 a.m. Might not be able to eat till the next flight. That's a toasty, flaky croissant. Wow, that's a good croissant. Burgers just look good. But I did make one interesting discovery about the dining table on this flight. Check this out. So I actually dropped a spoon and guess what happened? 
they magnetize the size of the table. So if you drop your utensils, like I just did, it won't fall to the ground. That's freaking ingenious. because this GoPro does not have me with the lights here. But luckily, this lounge is open at four o'clock in the morning. There is food set up. It's not, I think it's still roped off right now. It looks like gonna be able to eat before the flight. This is a giant lounge. Buffet is about to open in about five minutes. Tea with milk foam. So you go up there and they serve you. I got some hash browns, two different types of sausages, some pita with hummus, pickled vegetables, cocoa pebbles, and a croissant. And everything is turkey sausage. Not bad, definitely a lot of spices in here. Mm. Especially when you eat it with the pickles. Best thing here has to be the hummus. Oh, it's so delicious. Mm. So good. And I add my hummus to my meat. Mm. I'm gonna put the hummus on everything. Hummus cereal? That might be a little too much. Final leg of the trip. This is gonna be about 14 hours. If you'll notice, the seat behind me is enclosed in curtains, so that's apparently where the pilots sleep. You did notice, new travel bag. Aqua de Parma, same stuff though. Hand cream, cologne, toothbrush, toothpaste, socks. Again, I really do wish there were slippers on this flight. Otherwise, the plane is exactly the same as the last one. Let's see what we got to eat. There's two meals after takeoff. Warm breakfast bakery, yogurt, fruit, you get cheese and omelet, fowl metame or French toast. Before arrival, Middle Eastern appetizers, beef tenderloin, sear sea bass, chicken or pasta, roast milk cake, and here's the anytime snacks. A sort of sweet and savory snacks available on request. haagen ice cream. Oh, it's about to be an all you can eat haagen ice cream kind of trip. I can't wait to find out what the savory snacks are. We have Menakash, some sumac, zatar. Not really too familiar with these dishes. I basically got a Middle Eastern lunch. So excuse me when I'm not too familiar with these dishes. Mm. Oh, that is delicious. It's like a spring roll stuffed with cheese. Oh, this is so good. flavor of the lamb and the pancake, especially eaten with some of the cheese. Just incredibly creamy. Mm. Not a lot of meat, but flavor, texture of everything, incredible. Besides, safe to eat with the croissant. By the way, 
and all the baked goods on the swipe warm and it's hosting and flaky. I mean, it's not gonna be as good as something you get from a bakery, but for a flight, this is a pretty darn good croissant. Mm. This dipped into the beans, the vinegar goes so well with the buttered croissant. Mm. Oh, yogurt with nuts and dried fruit. That's good as well. That goes so well with some hot tea. So there are um, random snacks you can get between meals. I heard there's some sandwiches, chips, haagen ice cream. I'm gonna finish this and get some snacks. About 10 more hours um, to Chicago. This airline provides two and really not much to eat in terms of just snacks either. There's a sandwich. This is the sandwich that you get. It's a cold, chicken sandwich. It's also dates, some chocolate, some mixed nuts. Oh, that's cold and it's, for some reason, sweet. I wish I ate a lot more at the lounge. I brought some snacks oh, great. I will just take take this. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you so much. Should I clear that one? Uh, yes, oh, this yes. one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. I found more food to eat. Basically got one each of their snack pile. Kit Kat, peanuts, a cheese sandwich, and haagen ice cream. Let's see if this cheese sandwich is any better. The bread is much better, and there's pesto inside. Overall though, this is way better than the turkey slash chicken sandwich I had got before. are pretty good. I think I'm going to fill up with fish and hog and dodge until the next meal. I guess according to Chicago, it's breakfast. We're up with Abby is dinner. Arabic appetizers. I see some hummus and stuff. Grape leaves, olives. And then from the main course, tenderloin, green beans, potato. The dessert's been so good on all the airlines I've been on so far. It's a rose milk cake. instead of a cheese sandwich or a turkey sandwich. Would have been so happy with that beef tenderloin. Mm. This may not be the juiciest beef tenderloin I've had on the airplane, but it is definitely the tastiest. This thing tastes like it just got off a charcoal grill. Wow, flavors are so good. It really tastes like they have a grill on the airplane. Mushroom sauce is good. Mmm, super cheesy. skip right to dessert and taste that. First of all, this thing looks so appetizing. Mind-blowingly good. This tastes like it straight up came from a great dessert shop. Oh, it's so light. Burst of strawberry flavor. That's one of the lightest airline cakes I've ever put in my mouth. I would go seek this out if I could find it somewhere. They don't serve you a lot of food on this airline, but when they do, it's really good. All right, gonna eat and uh, land in about a couple hours. And then, probably go grab lunch. So we have very short layover, uh, just 
last minute decision coming here, getting some hot pot, and then heading off to St. Louis. This is a pretty new hot pot place that opened up in Chinatown. Nice layout. Also, they got Lidl Tongue, the sauce bar. This is stuff you, you really want to drink in the summer. Help cools you down. That's pretty much a good drink anytime. Mumbing soup. Every Chinese person grew up drinking this. They make their own yogurt here. Mm, pretty good stuff, especially if you order something really spicy. That's some tender beef. I haven't felt that extreme numbing spicy sensation in a while on my tongue. Ah, that feels good. Pretty sure hot pot is my most missed food of any foods. Ooh, that spice is spicy. Those are the best bamboo fungus. Just stop, cook it for like 15 seconds. That's like the best ingredient outside of meat. Hi, just got back. Couple additional things I want to say about Etihad Airlines. First of all, the pros. Staff was so nice. Everybody was incredibly courteous, amazing. The bed was comfortable. Everything was pretty modern. A lot of movie choices. The food was delicious. What I didn't like was that there, there wasn't a lot of food and the snacks is really nothing to speak of. And the other flight option we had was Qatar Airlines, which was pretty much the same price. But I remember Qatar Airlines, the food is amazing. There's no set meal time. You can order whatever you want, whenever you want it. And I remember everything I had was amazing. So never felt hungry on that flight. Also with Qatar, they make your seat into an actual bed and there's two of you, they actually make a whole queen's bed for the two of you. It's like having your own private room. With the prices being so comparable, if you are ever flying and there is a choice between the two, definitely go for Qatar. But anyways, hopefully this airline review has been helpful for you guys. Also, as I mentioned in the beginning, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I've been talking about HelloFresh for years now. I think they're my oldest sponsor. And I love recommending them because they actually taste that good. I'm never gonna recommend food to you guys. I don't absolutely love. I love HelloFresh. Basically every single recipe I had was delicious. And that's really no surprise because HelloFresh has more five-star reviews than any other meal kit. So you know you're gonna get something delicious. But also, like I mentioned, I hate going to grocery stores. I don't like to spend the time. I always buy too much food. I have no self-control whatsoever. But with HelloFresh, it's pre-portioned ingredients. So there's less prep time for you and less food waste. They offer a wide variety of quick and easy recipes, including 20-minute meals. It's really easy to clean up, like I said, less prep time means you get to eat sooner. And if you're trying to reach your fitness goals, there's also fit and wholesome recipes so you can just indulge in the food without the worries. So if you want to give this a try, go to my link down below. Use my promo code CHEN16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. All right, gotta go to bed, but as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.